Hi there. Um, my name is Jessica King. Hi. <laughs> I like to make dolls and I just made this one here. Uh, he has uh, both a leopard bow tie and a belt buckle. Pretty cool. And he has a paw for an eye. So he's sort of animally, but he has long hair too. So, so there's a lot going on here. Anyway, we didn't get to film anything about making him, but I've been very busy lately and I apologize for that. But here he is. Um, not sure of his name yet, but we shall see. <laughs> Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye. Lucas Abella. Three, two, one, racing. Oh, hello, this is Colin. And on today's tea, we have, once again, something of a mystery. Well, when I went to Bayswater Tea Company, I asked for the Buckingham Palace Earl Grey. I looked it up online, and the Buckingham Palace Earl Grey is usually made with jasmine. Well, when I got home, I discovered that the, uh, the Earl Grey that I had was full of blue cornflower, which would be the blue star Earl Grey that they have at Bayswater. Wow. I'm not that disappointed. I mean, it's a very nice tea anyway with the cornflower. Uh, cornflower uh, appears in many tea blends. I think its natural sweetness is, is used in many tea blends. But the cornflower plant itself is actually quite interesting. It doesn't come from corn. But, um, Besides being often being seen in teas, it's also endangered in many places. This is what it looks like. I suppose it looks like a lot of teas, but still quite nice. Please consider supporting our channel by joining us at Patreon.